One Cincinnati neighborhood is fighting back against what some in the community call a drag strip that cuts right through their business district. In our continuing Move Up Cincinnati coverage following the region's development and how it impacts you, WCPO 9's Pat LaFleur visited Westwood to see exactly what changes are in store. Every day, thousands of cars move up and down Harrison Avenue in the heart of Westwood, but more and more, those cars are having to share the busy road with pedestrians. I'm looking at this car, I'm looking at, I'm looking all over the place so I'm not getting run over. That's lifelong Westwood resident John Eby speaking to us last year, not long after a driver struck him in a crosswalk along Harrison. I didn't realize how tough it is to, to actually walk across the street until I actually got hit. I mean, now I'm paranoid, right? Leslie Rich with Westwood Works sees the problem too. She and her team have worked with the city to install some fixes last year, but she says speeding is a tough problem to get rid of especially on a busy road like Harrison. Even with our crosswalks and the great flags that a Girl Scout troop installed to make pedestrians more visible, there are multiple times where we have um, near misses or um, pedestrians being hit by vehicles. This led Rich and others to develop a plan. To bring even more changes to this stretch of Harrison Avenue that will make it a place where traffic slows down. And one of those changes, these flashing signs. The city just finished installing them this week. There has been some difference where uh, some of that drag racing that happens at the intersections has stopped. And just a couple weeks ago, the city lowered the speed limit from 35 miles per hour down to 25. And Rich said police are out there keeping watch. We've noticed lots of folks becoming aware of the new speed limit by getting pulled over. On top of less speeding, Rich said there's an added bonus too. They're able to see what there is to do in the neighborhood and they will stop. Reporting from Westwood, Pat LaFleur, WCPO 9 News. Now the city didn't indicate how long those speed detection signs will stay in place, but traffic data shows that at least a dozen crashes have happened in the Westwood Business District over just the last four months. You can read much more about the traffic changes in store for Harrison Avenue by checking out Pat's full story over on WCPO.com.